Welcome back, guys. Map mm -hmm. number one is going to be Himmelsdorf mm -hmm. between uh, Front uh, Mission and the PvP, PvP Super Friends. Friend. Yep. And uh, what do you think the end score is going to be here, Edison? I think mm. it could be 4-4 four, four and then go into a tiebreaker, or it could be 5-3. I think five three might be, you know. Uh, Either way, mission, of course. Um, I think they are not um, not that close on um, um, you know, um, the team ability. I think uh, they are pretty good. Formation pretty good. Oh and yeah. They are mo much more focused on the strategy side. If it's uh, a, a good teamwork, they are not that good on like PvP. PvP they they play more free style. They they are know how to uh, do a teamwork, but. On the strategy side, uh, maybe four missions later. You know. Real quick, let's go ahead and look at the maps that were banned. It's Ruinberg, Cliffs, Muravanka, and of course Prokhorovka. Now, mm -hmm. Muravanka, we've never seen in tournament <laughs> play until this season. Uh, yeah, we only see that on the QIC. Right. You know, it, the map, I think most of the team uh, is not familiar with that because of the map is so camping. Mm -hmm. It's really so camping map. So uh, I think most of the team do not like the map. but you know, um, after a rule change, the Himmel's Dorf become a really can be map too. So, we, oh, most of the team they choose the Pokenovka until right now they choose, but right. these two teams they didn't choose that. They choose the Himmel's Dorf, they choose an hour and step. Here we go. Alright, so here we are. You guys can see the tank loadout right in front of your eyes. Three IS-3s, two AMX-50s, AMX-1390, and a KV-85 coming out from PvP Super Friends. And for front mission, of course, they had a Chinese 110, two IS-3s, I believe, two AMX-50s, yep. mm -hmm. and an I or two ISs. Yep, they got two IS for a, a tier 7. That means uh, they won't use the capture strategy like the team efficiency. You know? Uh, that's why the team division they go to the south side and use a KB4 for capture. Right. Because they have KB4, so they can use such strategy. But if you only have, you only have I3, you only have Chinese 110, you only have M50, you won't use such strategy because the best suicide. They're gonna kill you really soon. But uh, on this side, on this time, you know, it look it look like you know uh, for mission team, you know, they got someone on the hill. This one's oh, alone. Man. Yeah. Is he gonna be a sniper? He's he's uh, still hesitating. It looks yeah, like. Yeah, I think it might be a light hang. They're gonna call. It's a Chinese one ten. You can see it on the minimap, right? Okay, okay, okay. It's a heavy tank. They got two. They uh -oh. got two right now. The production crew actually doesn't have our minimap right now. Oh yeah, yeah. So okay. that that heavy tank there on the hill, it's the Chinese one ten, from front mission. Yep, they got a Chinese one ten. Maybe an hour is M fifty, but can I see? Oh, it's ice. <laughs> okay. And they've got another one, fo yeah, the IS-3 mm -hmm. following them on top of that hill. But they're about to run straight into <laughs> that AMX-1390 and AMX-50 if they continue going in this direction. Mm -hmm. Vision is about to be granted on that eastern hill. What's going to happen? Oh, uh, man. It's a 12T, right? Okay, they know they know he got a 12T on the hill. Batman just got hit, but he took no damage from that shot. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't That's a bounce. Good. Might have been a critical hit. Uh, pretty clear hit, I guess. Straight to the turret. It wasn't an ammo rack because if that happened, then there would be at least some damage incurred. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now uh, the PvP pull it back. Yeah, it looks like we've actually got uh, a little bit, of, a little bit of hesitation from front mission. Mm -hmm. I feel like Ripper and his companion there to the south. If they're them hanging back is a big mistake. If we see PvP re-coordinate fire mm -hmm. excellently like they are right now. Yep. Yep. They're yeah. gonna be in a winning position because we need to see all those heavies at the front lines. Yeah, and then you know the formation is still got to tank on the south side. You know, if the PB just rush in, okay, they're gonna lose this one. Maybe here yeah. we go. Yeah. Front mission is in a lot of trouble. They need all those tanks to the front line. We still got Ripper and Calliope. They're hanging back really, really far. Yep. Ice water taken down to one hit. 
But you know, they got two tanks on the north part, so they're gonna kill the M15 and I3 on the middle first. But you know, uh, I think the PvP didn't know that. They have to rescue their main team members as soon as possible right now. Indeed. But the problem is, formation still got two tanks on the south. What, what on earth is going do? on here? I don't, I I don't, don't understand know. this move. T1. Yeah, they can either go here or go here, but not stand on this side. You know? Tide Killer already taking chunks. His companion is as well. Mm -hmm. And it looks like this is a fight that is definitely going in favor of PvP Super Friends. Yeah, actually, you know, when they rush down to the, to the here, you know, the formation got advantage here. But, you know, I don't know what... Oh, they're gonna use the ice oh. for capture. M50 for cover. That's okay. brilliant. But I think there might be enough time for PvP Super Friends to regroup and take I'm that. I'm not sure, but, you know, this one's gonna die. I don't yeah. know who's him. It's gonna take a little bit. Yeah. There we go. He's out of the okay. game. It's Spec Ops. He's gone. He's gone, Jim. Mm. 134 remaining on ice water. Batman is not too much far from the grave as mm -hmm. well. He's down to 44. Anuto and Critical Hit are about to oh. turn the corner here and take what they can from mm -hmm. this fight. Exchanging shots. Wow. Critical now steps in front of Anuto to block yeah. any shots. And but the I next have to one, say oh, that no. the formation got really nice. It's changing right now, so PvP got big proper, and I think. Oh man, and in the wow, background. Nice. In the background, we saw quite a few tanks from Front Mission disappearing as well. Mm -hmm. We've got Critical oh. Hit. Everyone My on God. PvP has one shot. It's only WD 40 left yeah. on. Uh, front mission. He might be able to pull this out with a ring and a prayer. What is he Whoa. in, Edison? It's check show. Is is he in an AMX 50? I, no, that's an IS. It's IS versus two M's 50. Oh man. Well, I mean, he's only got to make. He's got to make this but golden shot happen. reloading. I bet that he's reloading. Oh, that's why he. Oh, there he is. Wow. And now it's one to two. But Antare, I think he can take two more shots mm -hmm. before he's out of the game. Mm -hmm. WD-40 is going to need not oh, just luck, nice but love here. from RNG. Nice is he cover. going to get it? Is oh, he going to get it no, or not? He didn't shot. He no didn't one shoot exchanging him. fire just oh. yet. Oh. We saw the miss come out from WD-40, and we saw uh. PvP Super Friends narrowly attain the victory. You no, know, you know, the formation almost make it. Almost. If they move the south two tank as soon as possible, uh, maybe uh, 15 seconds earlier, not 50, maybe 10 seconds. 30, I think. Would Certainly, they, they cannot absolutely win, but you know, they... Uh, I they don't were know a little bit weak on the coordination. They didn't, they, didn't, they didn't move the two tanks on the south part. You know, they, uh, they least the two tanks stay there 30 seconds, I think, like you say. But you know, they cannot offer any support fire, but they almost done. They almost win that one. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if we check this out right now, I mean, if this is any indication of how close this set is going to be, if we just see Front mm. Mission kick things up a little bit more with their coordination, we could potentially see them take the rest of the games in the mm -hmm. entire set. Mm -hmm. The question is, is that going to happen or not? I think we should go to a 90-second commercial break and then mm -hmm. find out Okay. after game number two. Mm -hmm.
All right, guys, welcome back. Now, this is going to be game number two on mm -hmm. offense for front mission. I imagine their defense will be much, much stronger. I think it could be 2-2 two, two at yeah, the end of it's possible. You know, I know. I, I think they know how to defend on this map. They, they do have one match with uh, which, which team? Oh, uh, uh, one, uh, blood yeah, yeah, one, in, one blood and intense on yeah, game, which is now Phoenix. Phoenix. On this one, I think. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so of course there's a tank loadout. Looks mm -hmm. like there's been a little bit of change. Yeah, they got more M's fifty. Right. They had a they had a an IS three initially, but now they've <coughs> or excuse me, a Chinese mm -hmm. one ten in the mm -hmm. first game, but this time it's gonna be an AMX fifty. Yeah, and I check the damage record on the on the last match. You know, the KV eighty five, the tier six tank on the PvP team making one thousand and three hundred damage, but you know, on the formation. They, the two I3 only make it to uh, 700. Alright, so. Here we are. Wow, PB Rush on the west part. The style of PvP. Now we're still trying to figure out what Front Mission is doing. It looked like they're taking a. a, uh, a style that's similar to what we saw there in game yep, number one. Yep, yep. They want to play a more coaching way. They want to scale the heal power. And assure how many enemy up here, and they're gonna move uh, south. You know. But this time, the PvP gonna rush in. Yeah, I mean, uh, the gr the best defense is a great offense sometimes. Yeah. But yep. Uh, I feel like if we see this, this could be chaos theory from mm -hmm. uh, either side. To be perfectly honest, if we actually see, uh, if we actually see PvP rush in the way they are right now, they might not be in such a great position. Yeah, and the problem for PvP is if even they see uh, someone on the base, they don't know how many there, so they won't rush in directly. Right, and I'm a little bit worried if... What, what happens if they rush the G-Line right now? Because of course there's three tanks um, uh, ready normally, there. Normally people don't rush in the G-Line because there is too much cover. <coughs> here is a... You know, here and here. It's really easy to defend, it, so normally uh, no one rushes this side. Okay, they pull back. Mm -hmm, there's they the sniper work. They didn't see anyone. That means... That means uh, the rush strategy is just want to kill someone. If the, the formation team, they rush to the south, let's say. So uh, when the, in first moment, the PvP cannot get any tank on the south side. They're gonna pull back. They don't want to do anything, you know. All right, so here we are. Everyone's just regathering and regrouping yep. in this present location. Mm -hmm. And they're going with the standard meta defense style, I guess you could say. They know that there's someone from Front Mission on the mm -hmm. on the Far Eastern Hill sniping yep. and taking shots at them. Yep. They want to eliminate the that. for the PvP, they got a light hang. Mm -hmm. That's, I mean, that might be great for, you know, a flank or two, but... Yeah, for head-on yeah. fights. Yeah, yeah, that's good for flanking, but, you know, if your team your team O stick here. M thirteen cannot do anything there, you know. Essentially, you can, yeah. So uh, I three and I, you know, uh, three shot can kill the I uh, M thirteen absolutely, you know. Right. If and you are not check shot or something like that. No one's been spotted just yet, but I think Spec Op is the guy in the mm -hmm. MX thirteen ninety right now. Yep. Maybe. All right. Well. <coughs> Front mission is just continuing, I guess you could say, to cautiously push forward, and that's the yep, way they should yep. play it out, I think. Yeah, waiting for the heal power right now. Alright, so. Checking the present positioning, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, if we see them push in from the, from yeah, the D line the there. The PB already see them, so. Like it's really hard for them to push here right now. They're gonna take in another flank, in, another flank, in, another way, another place, another place from here, I guess. All right, we're just mm -hmm. waiting to see what the move is gonna be. I mean, yeah, I it's I three. Yeah, I mean the one absolute that we know is a mm -hmm. fact here in this game is that we can't see front mission hang back and do nothing. Mm -hmm. Right now, what we can see on the minimap is they're trying to get that solid spread that they've been looking for, yeah. and then uh, yeah. dive in. Yeah, they're gonna use I3 to, you know, come here and, you know, just let the enemy cannot push forward to the south side. So, uh, the formation team can go through, go through the square garden, you know. 
and then another team here we cannot take here no. go to this side okay so now Nuto is actually in that window and this this Ford wow. push scout if you will coming from WD40 is not panning out in yeah, his favor yeah but WD40 you know he, he how many shot he got look like three he know. took three at least mm -hmm. and now here we go the dive in coming from PvP super friends they're just gonna go ahead and try and tear Front mission, a new one wow. from the front, but it's not quite working out to yeah. their favor. Mm -hmm. This rush, this push thus far can be considered a success for front mission mm. as they've already taken down Antari and yeah. Spec Op is but one versus more, four. Make more damage. Oh, okay, man. nice. Man. Wow, nice one. Yeah. A nice one, I would say that. PvP has to regroup right now. Amex yeah. 1390, what yeah. on earth is he doing right now? But the problem for them is how to let regroup because the, someone is already on the north window right now. He cannot move. And yeah. they only have three. This, yeah? I think the main map got some problem, right? Mm. There is one. Anuto is here. Didn't show up. He didn't. Oh. You're absolutely right. M50 is here. He can cover. Wow. I see oh, ice water. You have got problem. He will, he will, but oh. I mean, he took down, he took down WD-40 there, and now we've got the counter push coming from front mission to the west side mm -hmm. of the map, kicking in in full effect. It's Little Mac, one mm -hmm. versus four. He might be able to get one or two of those tanks if he's really Whoa. lucky. He does get one, and that is enough to make it worth at there. this location. Can he or can he not get Ty Killer is a real question. I feel like Ty Killer is ultra overzealous in his present position. He's getting hit from the rear by Batman mm. as we speak, and if necessary, we can see Batman run for cover <laughs> and save himself. The capture is being initiated. Ripper yep, running for yep. his life. Yeah, they need, okay, they need two to cover. At they the need, very least. You know, you, someone you know, with really, really low HP to cover, to capture, you know. Right, and now Anuto is going to hang back there and try and hit what he can. The capture has been reset to some extent, but now with three tanks in there, I don't think it's wow. going to make too much of a difference. Anuto. 23 seconds remaining. It's all up to the god dang Batman. Can he or can he not do it? There's 40 yeah, seconds left yeah. on the clock. He just needs to hit a couple of shots to get the reset. He's looking for that right now. He's been spotted. Yeah. He, he has been spotted. Shot. He needed one did he shot. Just get, did he just get track shotted? Mm. No, he misses. Wow. He misses. He needs to hit the next. He gets one. Well, over. It's over. Come on. Four seconds. Three. Two. Two. No, it's over. It's over. They, it is. They got a full tank to capture. It so. is. And all of them were out of... How do I say it's the, the, the shot range, if you if you will. So now the score is 1-1 one, one mm -hmm. as we hit 8 seconds and end the game. Yeah. Doing pretty nice on a formation. I think, you know, uh, in a PvP team, you already have a light tank. Mm -hmm. You got a one tier 6. That means if you camp in, uh, you got some problem there about defense power because of you are have a light tank. You cannot shoot your enemy from to, uh, fast to fast. You have to flank it. And if you leave your position for guard, for campaign, for defense, it's much weaker, you know. It, it can become much weaker and much easier to be break it is. through. You know? It is. I mean, like, that's, that's just the way the, the cookie crumbles now. Um, mm -hmm. I'm stopping to think here what we're going to see when we have PvP super friends on the offense. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think we can find out after a quick two-minute commercial break, guys. Yep. So don't go away. Okay.
All right, guys, we are back now, and we're switching sides on the map. That means we're going to see front mm -hmm. mission on defense, and now PvP super friends on offense. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to remark that game number one was really close. Game number two yep. was a, a little bit more definitive there for front mission. Yeah, I think, you know, PvP choose a light hand, as, as I said before. It's know. a slight mistake. <laughs> yeah, you know, not that good for stand on the one position. So, you know, for mission got a chance, and they take the chance to win this one. That's it. Personally, I feel like that's just Batman's style, and I feel like maybe his style could be holding his team back just a little bit. Yep. yep. Well, but you know, if you choose, if he chooses M50, you know, I think the story might be different. All right. So there we are. Three MX 50s It will be for front mission. Two IS3s and two ISs. Solid defensive lineup. <laughs> while from PVP Super Friends, we're gonna have two MX 50s mm -hmm. and three IS3s and an MX 1390. And an M6, so they're going. M6. Wow. Yeah, they're going with a 686 composition. While we've got the AMX, excuse me. While we've got FM going with 587s. No, the M6. Oh yeah, that that thing's a. Got, it's, it's got a super bouncy hull. Yeah, 76 so millimeter cannon. Thinking about you know, you have a defensive team, which is a KV4, KV5. Gonna be a really interesting. But yeah. The holding cannot move it. If uh, if someone capture on the capture circle one, uh, it might might make in some problem. Yeah, M6 has a 90 millimeter cannon yeah, and really nice KPM. Yeah. I actually I, I have an M6, but I don't have the 90 millimeter cannon. <laughs> I actually a 70 it's a millimeter gun. Yeah, I'm trying to just uh, how do I say this? Accumulate a lot of XP and go straight into buying the the T29 as quickly as possible. I don't want to waste too much time with uh, other stuff. Uh -huh. But um, I am also grinding my way up the German tank line. Uh -huh. so I know that. that yeah. But you know, uh, normally we call that uh, pile your dead body. You know? Pile your dead body? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because, uh, you know, if you use a uh, 76 mm gun on the T29, you know, you cannot do too much thing. No, no, I've got, I've got the M6, not the T29. Oh, yeah, you got 90 mm gun right now. No, okay. no, no, no. I, didn't, I, didn't, I don't have the 90 mm. I didn't buy it. I'm trying to save my credits strictly yep. to buy yep. the T29. Yep. And let's mean, <laughs> that's what I say, you know. Your T29 mm -hmm. won't gonna, gonna have T76 uh, mm gun on a tier 7 game. So more, uh, most of the enemy, uh, I think at least 50% you cannot penetrate. So right. I would say that is a pile of their body. You know, I believe you. Up to the tier 7. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the best thing I can do at that point is uh, essentially just use my tank to shield friendly tanks and uh, let them deal out the how do you say, the corrosive firepower, if you uh -huh. will. So we've already got uh, Batman going in here with the AMX 1390, showing how well you can use it on this map. And this is the first season where I think we've seen an AMX 1390 on Himmelstorf. Yeah, yeah, it's quite strange. You know. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, you have to use that. You know. I think Batman has used to use that you know, uh, really in another way, but uh, if they just want to go through here uh, and flank in from here on a traditional way, M30 can never have too much on here. Alright, so front mission's got the standard defensive setup. Mm -hmm. And we can see that, you know, PvP Super Friends are not trying to exploit anything too terribly much by using, uh, you know, an artillery or a T-37 or something like that. And by the way, I, I asked Comics how much damage he did uh, the other day when he was using that M44 mm -hmm. SPG, and he told me, oh, it was nothing, it was only 400. Okay. But still, they managed to win. Yeah, yeah. but no, 400 is no for SPG. Because of your enemy is rushing, they don't have too much chance to use the artillery. But of course, I mean, like, I, he's, he told me only one shot hit is what I mean. Oh, yeah. Okay, so yeah. it's penetrate. Yeah, basically. Uh huh. If that makes sense. Yep. Um, he said it was awful, in his opinion. But I mean, like, it's, it's basically an anti camping tool. It forces your opponent to come to you. Right. Totally right, you know. Mm -hmm. If you're an enemy, they cannot use the camping stretch. Artillery is the best way to three supply, I think, because of, you know, you're gonna bump them the whole time and then they cannot stand there. Finally, they cannot go out like red. Okay, so. We've got PvP Super Friends patiently pushing up the 
uh, five line there. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and and from what you know, okay, you are there because on the south part cannot see anything. Because that means they cannot push from the east. Oh, there it is. They're oh, diving in. And this is not looking good for Antari. Fire. Wow. Yeah, that was that's 455 we've got left on Antari. Blood Plus did take a good chunk as well. Uh -huh. And now they're focusing down the guy who's in the window, if mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken. Yeah. That's going to be Calope. Calope. All right, so now they do have a capture initiated, but Antari is not in that capture circle. Mm -hmm. uh, this is going to gradually force front mission's hand, but yep. I mean, we still just need a little bit more time. Uh -huh. We got Ice Water, Batman, all set up in the right places to set up ambushes. Yeah, important for the PvP teams is on the North Defender. You know, I mean the formation team. They don't, ha they didn't take too much damage until right now. Oh you know? man, and critical hit was taken down. Ice Water is now isolated, and he might get off spin if he's lucky. He does not. So this is now five versus seven off spins. Mm -hmm. Uh, DPS will remain in the game, or at least DPS potential, if you will. 30 seconds remaining on that capture. TY Killer getting a little bit overzealous here. Little Mac coming in for the defense. Successful to that Whoa, end. Nice. And now, this is a 3 versus 4. May as yeah, well be 3 versus yeah. 3. And M50 uh, on the reloading, I guess. So, oh, we know. Man. Formation have to run right now. He's a Ripper. Ripper has to run right now. And PB have to kids heal him as soon as possible, or they're gonna lose this one. Yeah, Batman, he's running for the hills. He's on the reload. Spec Ops' his turret ring, has it been damaged? I think it was. He was turning slowly for a moment. Ripper running for his life. Antari aiming for his life. And it looks like. We have someone from the PvP that gets it. Batman, mm -hmm. speaking of PvP, now shooting at the rear of WD-40 <laughs> and help me please. And oh, he tried to ram him, Atari, but no. The ram from help me please has backfired oh. just a little bit. It costed him about 300, 400 HP in all of that. And now Spec Ops waiting for the reload, trying to get that hit on the help me please. Can he or can he not get it? He does! Oh, he succeeds! Nice. Batman going for the capture, not aiding his teammate. I don't understand this decision. He should be going through right now. Oh no. No. Uh, Why the turn they shoot him? Oh my oh, god. Both oh, sides go. get out. Both Batman's sides get a right Batman now coming in. He realizes it's too late to get the it's too late to get the capture. He's coming in to aid his teammate immediately and he's going to shoot at the rear. Oh Another my god. Another not penetrating shot. WD40 now hit from the rear and he's going to get thrown out of oh, this he game. Oh, again. Wow. It's a non-penetrating shot, and finally we see PvP Super Friends winning this by the skin of their teeth. 158 damage remaining on Antaria, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, Neo, two ice. Oh, it's one i3 and uh, one M50. Sorry, one M50 uh, check shot, no damage, and two bounce shot for i3. <laughs> he can. They can already win this one if they aim carefully. They don't have to stick together. One shot, one kill, taking the distance. Quite late against together, it's really hard to end them. But you know? Edison, it's hard to focus when there's 60,000 US dollars on the line. Oh, <laughs> but <laughs> Come you, on. Know, you know, it's not that hard. You know, uh, sometimes you know, I, re I really fe feel mad when I lead a team, you know. Enemy is one shot and a die. Why are you against them? It's really hard to <laughs> aim because you only aim left up phone and torrent. It's really hard to penetrate. If yeah. you kick ten this time, you know, just run away. Not run away, you know. Just uh, move a little bit. 50 meters is okay. You know, 10 meters is fine. You can kill him that, that easy. Why you guys stick together? You know, three non penetration and make you lose. All right. <laughs> so we saw, we saw PvP Super Friends there on offense taking out the win. And it looks like we're maybe almost ready to hop into uh, game number two mm -hmm. on offense for PvP. It's that we're waiting for the decisions to be made. They're going with pretty much the same exact, yes, the same exact composition that they did no. in game number oh, one yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, on offense. Um, it looks like there might be some change in store coming from front mission. Yeah, but you know, on ISS. the formation side, you know, uh, if you are on the defense, you know your enemy only have M6, I3, M50. Why not choose a KB5 or KB4? I just really wonder about that. Yeah. Because of, you don't want to move in. Yeah, KV5, KV4, the big problem for KV5, KV4 is they are really slow. But they got really nice armor, or nice for defense. Why not use them if you don't want to move? Yeah, but you know. All right, they're they swapping out a couple things, it looks mm -hmm. like.
All right, so I think we're going to take this, maybe take advantage of this time to go ahead and take things into a short 90-second commercial break, and then mm -hmm. after that, we'll be back with the final game <coughs> on Himmelsdorf. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back now with the final game. It's going to be on Himmelsdorf. Excuse me, final game of Himmelsdorf. <laughs> and uh, yeah. we're going to have PvP super friends on offense once again and uh, friend mission on defense yet mm -hmm. again. Checking loading screen right now. Uh, they have less and loadout, I guess. I and think. Yeah, yeah, but, you know, I think uh, PvP pretty lucky. Pretty lucky, you know. In some regards, yeah, yes. Yeah, three bunks. What's that? Oh, I'm sorry. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's all the same. Yep. Exact same as last game. Yeah, yeah. And uh, three bounce, three bounce on the uh, gold lead is not that easy to see, you know. It's not that easy to see. So, but no, I have to say that uh, the personal skill <laughs> on the formation team, uh, they need to improve, you know. <coughs> all right. So here we go. <laughs> They are off, and it looks like we have PvP taking a little bit of a split there, according to what we can see on the minimap. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the time being, we're going to have friend mission going to the standard defensive setup. Yep. And let me see here. Batman is going to be spearheading this charge, it looks like. I mean, it only makes sense since he's in the AMX 1390. Going down the train tracks already. Do you think they might be trying to go for capture point one there, Edison? Hmm. Cannot figure out because of... It's not look like they're going to capture because they use M13 and M50. You know. It, uh, if you use those tanks there, uh, it's really easy to be killed because if you capture, you don't have any cover there. <coughs> All right. So, here we are. Mm -hmm. Batman continuing that push. He's just gonna get. He's just gonna get some vision, maybe see what's out there, and uh, see if there's anything that front mission is doing that might be awkward mm -hmm. or new on the defense, but. I need to dodge and bullets from off spin and yep. uh, might be returning fire soon. He's holding <laughs> still, plainly exposed. Yeah, because he's an ice, ice layer, you know. Uh, it's only ice there. He cannot, uh, cannot dodge you to the ice three. All right. Wow. <coughs> mm -hmm. The spec ops is a long layer. Wow. So, so, so dangerous. Indeed. Well, oh, do you remember last time uh, the formation versus the uh, one, not one blood, the Phoenix? They put a lot of M's, M's 50 here, right? Yeah. Yeah, and if the PV do the same, if they do the same thing, you know, here, the i is going to die really soon. Wait, where on earth is that M6? Is it hanging way back? At, what, what's going on in the minimap here? Edison, that there's an M6 at the south position or so it looks like, mm -hmm. but I can't really tell. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It might be a mild problem. Maybe. 
Actually, we don't have the mod on this PC. <coughs> They're actually capturing our, uh, our, uh, what's what I'm looking for? Our mini map, if you will. You guys can see that clearly in the lower right hand corner of your screen. But uh, we're still trying to figure out just, I'd say, the entire positioning of PvP right now. Yep. They're getting ready to dive in there. <laughs> again, again, I send a PvP gonna, you know, rush in, capture, use someone sniping on the south side. You know, same strategy, but. Uh, I, I don't think it's not not easy, not that easy to capture. But this time they got a couple oh, advantages. Wow! Holy cow! Oh, I'm serious. Critical Very hit is living up to his namesake there as he's now down to uh, maybe just about one shot in this game and he is now gone. Yeah, what? and they're gonna use M13 for capturing. Right, and he was actually the first tank to fall in the last game as well. That was essentially his role, and now we've got Kala Calliope mm -hmm. and Offspin playing yeah. straight to the Death Trap. The ambush set up here by PvP Superfriends. Amazing meta to play, if you will. We've got Calliope now trying to get through. He, he hasn't been track shot, and Batman pick, stepping out to pick, off, pick him off as best he can. Offspin now trying to ramp Batman, and so too is Ripper. Now we've got the rest of PvP yeah, trying to yeah. dive in on the capture circle to save their captain it doesn't quite pan out spec op now turning the corner playing his picks as best as possible and off spin blood plus and ripper are now exposed to the wrath of the pvp but their teammates coming around yeah, for the covering ready. fire yeah they are ready they are ready for front mission right yeah they are ready and their coordination is wow, amazing right nice. now three four tanks remain for front mission while there's only two and slipping from this game is pvp yep and right. because of m6 and you know uh, almost doing nothing and the dive I think the search of PvP, uh, they're using M6 as a cover for Batman. That's it. So he cannot offer any support. But, you know, Batman is a light tank in a capture circle, and I think the, the formation doing pretty nice on Fox Fire. So the Batman died really soon. I think M6. in some ways, hmm? maybe, maybe in some ways this was figured out as well, because in game three, PvP mm -hmm. tried this as well. Mm -hmm. All right. We got Panda diving wow. in there. Atari's been track shotted, I think. Yeah. Yep. The Panda is the commander. Oh! Oh! And he's just Whoa. been. Wow! Nice dodge there from Atari. Oh my god. Don't go oh, me. but he's you about to get, get flanked. Help me, please. Whoa. Get a little overzealous. He fired. Check, check. Yeah. Ice water totally surrounded here. No escaping this. And he is done. Escape. So that brings the score to 2 2. Yeah, yeah, you know, but they got a chance to 3 1. They didn't do that. They didn't make yeah. it, you know. I still remember the bounce, three bounce shot on the previous match. You know. well, I mean, they still won that match. I mean, to yeah. say, PB yeah. oh, wait, you mean front mission? Yeah. Front mission at that three chance. Bounce, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, uh, we're going to dive into steps for the next map after this short break, guys. Don't go away. Okay. All right, guys, we are now back with map number two. Game mm -hmm. number one is going to be, of course, on steps. Who's mm -hmm. on offense here? Uh, PvP? No. I say, uh, Should be front mission, if I'm not mistaken. It's... Uh, formation is a defense team. Oh, right, right. Mm -hmm. My bad, defense my bad. Team. PvP is offense. But no, it's 2-2. Two -two. This map is really easy to make in 2-2. Two -two. 
Oh yeah. So <laughs> yeah, could we so see a tiebreaker? I mean, that's possible. the cue for the production crew. Yep. He's possible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I I really think this is going to be the closest match of the WGL season three that we have seen yet. And just a reminder, if this is your first time tuning in, if we see <coughs> someone win the tiebreaker, they only get two points, not three. Mm -hmm. But you know, on the first week, uh, the team deficiency versus Charlotte Tiger, they also got five three, I think. Almost tight break. Still, that one still a uh, step, I think. Maybe. Uh, I think so. Not that I don't remember, know. but you know. Uh, we almost saw a tiebreaker between Charlotte Tiger and Horseman. Almost. Yeah, almost here. Yeah. You know. uh, the <coughs> the sh Horseman got some problem on Focus Fire. Uh, no, no, no. It's a capturing. After they yeah. didn't capture, uh, they that missed was the one. shot. The T49, you know, the enemy's T49 make it, you know, three shot taking, everyone taking like a hundred and you know, reverse the game. They almost lose that one, but you know, finally they still win. <coughs> All right. So I'd like to go ahead and say uh, right now, mm. I feel like, you know, I mean, seeing the way things went in game number one there on Himmelsdorf, we saw one win on defense, one loss on defense for both sides. Do you yeah, think we can see the same one, thing one, here? One. Is it gonna be two two? Like, but you know, this one might be two 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 two. Yeah, you know. two wins on defense, two so. wins on offense. So I mean, that really shows me that from both sides we've got really solid coordination, really mm -hmm. solid. Uh, how do I say <coughs> this? Really solid tactics, and I mean, both sides can play it to their best. And I think it, it you know, it could come down to positioning and everything else in between. But yeah, uh, I really feel like. This could go 2-2, and we could eventually go into a tiebreaker game. Right now, of course, in case you guys weren't at the commercial break, it is, of course, two points, two points. And uh, we're still waiting for both sides to get their tank selection done. Of course, Batman says, I don't care what map it is. I'm going to use an AMX 1390, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. As in PvP play, I'm really, you know, uh, uh, freestyle. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I love to attack and... Uh, Sometimes you feel oh, the PAPTV is not that organized, but you know, uh, sometimes they perform really nice. Yeah, so. but I mean, like, that's the thing. It, it worked there in game number three. It didn't work there in game number four. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, that was kind of also due to the split that we had coming from PVP <coughs> uh, in game number four. And Ice Water was very much so isolated. And uh, things just didn't quite pan out in favor of... Uh, PvP there in game number four. Their, their mm -hmm. positioning was basically figured out and everything else in between. Yep, yep. It's not that easy if you use an M13. Alright. Oh. Which. Do you think we could see them go for capture point one or capture point number two? I mean, this feels. On this map, I feel like if we see the team, one team or another, entirely focus too much on one capture point, say for example, defending team. Is focused on capture point one, mm -hmm. and then the offensive team just goes straight up to capture point two. We could actually, you know, kind of see <coughs> a straight up uh, capture loss, mm -hmm. if you will. Yeah. We almost saw that with Horseman versus Charlotte Tiger, but luckily they they just went full blown kamikaze with uh, their tanks, and that's what got them the reset. Mm -hmm. T twenty nine already from front mission. I like that choice because it's very annoying tank to anything that's got a ninety millimeter cannon. Mm -hmm. T49, so PvP is showing they want to bring the big guns to the fight. Now, mm. let me ask you this, Addison. What, what do you think What do you think about a T49 shooting at a T29? T49? Yeah. Going to be uh, a bounce? T49 used the high explosion run and hash run. So, uh, and the hit. <coughs> but the hit got really low penetration. It's not that easy to penetrate a T29, but... I'm not talking about no, never, but not that easy, you know. Because of if you use a two, uh, T29, uh, most of the case you uh, play really caution and just show up torrent. So T49's hash run or hit or high explosion run cannot penetrate, in most cases, cannot penetrate T29. But he gonna make in like a 300 to 400 damage per shot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, not bad, you know. Yeah. Your enemy show up torrent and, uh, you know, give him uh, I, H E. <laughs> well, I mean, like, what's the reload time on a T-49? Isn't it, like, 15 seconds, 20? <coughs> no, like, 18 to 20. 18 to 20. Yeah. I mean, like, 300 to 400, yeah, that's not really that bad when, you, yeah, when you've yeah. got, like, a 10-second yeah. reload because time. When your enemy gonna camp in, 
you know your enemy gonna camp in. Use the H E to shoot his torrent is not bad, you know, because he is non penetrable. <coughs> and on this map, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know why the formation using Persian. What's the per difference between Persian and T thirty two? A really different uh, speed. On the decision side, you know, if you want to choose the T thirty two, that means you don't want to reach some horror on the first moment. No, you just you just want to defend some horror. But if you use Persian, that means you cannot reach somewhere as soon as possible and shoot the enemy first. But on this on this map, I don't know why the defense team choose a Persian. All right, we're about to find out why. And there's the tank loadout. As you can see, we've got that T-49 coming out from PvP Superfriends. Three RU-251s and two Amex 1390s. While we have a more heavily armored composition coming from Front Mission, who is now spawning to the north on defense. This could end quite poorly for PvP Superfriends if they make even one vital mistake. But the T-29, it's Tier 7. Um, of course, we do see that 587 composition coming from Front Mission as such. And I, I just wonder how we're going to see uh, PvP play this out. They have to mm -hmm. be very careful on what targets they focus fire <laughs> down. Yep. And, uh, you know, formation is split to two parts, right hand on the west, the heavy mid on the east. If the PvP know that, or discover that, they're going to rush to kill the live tank you know, as soon as possible. Okay, better than see him. Oh, man, <laughs> he's super exposed there. I mean, yeah, help me please but shooting no. at him. Wow, he, uh, that formation missing. But Spec Ops did get hit in the background. He's done a one, eight, 806 HP right now. Um, also, help me please took a bit of a jab as well. And uh, Batman is essentially playing the role of worm on a hook and waiting for the fish to bite. Mm -hmm. So, okay. again, maybe one cool back right now. Mm hmm. I'm wondering, like, what, what, what is the thought process? What is the thought process behind this forefront mission? What are they thinking right now? I'm not sure. No, even they use Persian. I don't know why they use Persian. And uh, you know, uh, do you remember last time? Uh, I think it's Shadow Tiger versus Horseman. Shadow Tiger capture and no one can see who capturing, right? And uh, and next round they use the T32 with a by uh, by Nakira, so they can see anyone on the capture circle. On this time, T29, T29 do not get a uh, nice version of the T32. Uh, maybe the, PS the Persian have a by Nakira, I don't, I'm not sure, but you know, I still wonder why they choose a Persian. Batman was just inching his way into the capture circle and now he's yeah. got it started. Yeah, and no one can see that. And then no one can see him because uh, they don't have a T32 with a binocular. Yeah, that's 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 spot on right there. Yeah, yeah, you know, no one can see him. Are you two five one and Amex thirteen ninety coming from the? I guess you could say the southeast of Batman's present position. Yeah. But the question yeah. is, and um, the formation right now are forced to push forward. Oh man. It's so bad. It's so bad. Yeah, and I mean a lot of their tanks are out of position right now. I mean the T twenty nine's way back there. The Pershing as well. Mm hmm. Um, they're not really going with the rest of the team, but that captures only 50%. They're, yeah. they're just hooking it back in spawn, if you will. And now, eight, excuse me, Batman's been hit. Mm -hmm. He's at 829 right now. And this didn't force too much out of the way of uh, front mission. They're thinking, all right, well, if we have to, we can do that four times over again until we eventually kill Batman. Yeah, yeah but, you know, right now, the position for the front mission is not bad because they got a lot of sniper on the south side. Version just show up torrent to spot enemy and the two T thirty uh, two twenty nine, two T twenty nine for uh, defend you know defend the uh, east part, but the gun is not accurate you know one o five. If he, if the T twenty nine use a nineteen millimeter gun on this map, it's not bad because of penetration and accuracy. It's better than one o five. 
Alright, well... <clears throat> Still have the Pershing there. Kind of sitting... I, I wouldn't say sitting back, but... Uh, rotating around. I wouldn't say Whoa. necessarily frantically, they but it looks like... The, the P29 there. Yeah. Wow, they're gonna kill him. PvP is now taking advantage of their light tank composition, isolating off spin and getting him out of the game and very quickly. And got M44. Right. PvP use the artillery, so, you know... WD-40 uh, looks like he's in a lot of trouble in this present position. He doesn't want to... He doesn't want to get spotted here, so he is, I imagine, backpedaling away. That Pershing... <laughs> He's kind of secluded there in the in the bushes and the hill as well, but I mean he's he's safe as long as he doesn't pop out too far. Mm -hmm. But you know, your enemy has artillery, so they're gonna spot you, keep spotting you, and use artillery to attack you guys. Even right. your person just show up, tolerant artillery still making damage, and T forty nine. There we are, WD forty now backing up, and he's getting rushed in on, piled in on now by critical hit. Little Mac and Icewater, but his teammates coming to his aid as well. The question is, who will fall first? I think the answer is not going to be WD-40. And now he is cleaned up in the background. Wow. Icewater taken down, though. We've got this this mixy mashy kind of 2v3 going down. 2v2 now. That's the heavy is involved oh as well. I think Ripper, he misses that shot. He might be on the reload right now as yeah. he is backpedaling, but he's targeting Little Mac. Yeah, it's so now, close right now. Punk yeah. I have to rescue his team. Uh -huh. as soon as, oh, he missed. He missed. Oh, where? What? What on earth is a Nuto doing way back there? He's in an artillery. Mm. Oh man, how did we not notice that SPG until this very moment? Yeah, I told you they got artillery. Yeah, uh, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> yeah. notice it. I didn't notice it. Okay. Well, I mean, the rule of thumb is basically a front mission is still yeah, forty-four. Right. If they still <laughs> got anyone alive at the end of this game, then front mission uh, still wins. Kind of Kyoto yeah. Because Spec he, Ops just got track shotted. Yeah, Ripper's so, taking his time. Yeah, he's lucky. I have to say that like, he's lucky. M13 for track shot is not that easy because of the gun is super accurate. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, well, only Batman here. Batman one versus four. I mean, yeah. staying alive here. Batman. Staying. At, Whoa! At this, who at, hit him? At this point, oh, missed shot on the artillery. It didn't yep. get a little splash damage. I can't tell. The thing is, like, I, I'd say the only real advantage that we have going for uh, Batman if he manages to stay, to stay alive until the clock counts down to zero would actually be, um, you know, less damage for front mission should we take it to that tiebreaker game, which, mm -hmm. I mean, with every game, it seems like we're getting closer and closer mm -hmm. to that point. Wow. So 30 seconds remaining, but we do, of course, have front mission eliminating all the tanks on the enemy team, and that, of course, brings things to mm. three to two in the score. Yep. And next one, what do you think? Next one, I think, like, we're obviously not going to see that artillery in the game anymore. I mean, I feel like. Mm. What do you think? If you, you know, if you, you use so? the artillery, you know, uh, the play style gonna change. You have to spot enemy and you know take artillery to attack enemy. Time by time, you got, you need more, more time. More, uh, you, you need maybe, but it's only seven minutes, you know. Yeah. You cannot wait there for six minutes and trying to win that one because your enemy cannot escape. Obviously, and I mean, like, the thing is, of course, uh, typically the meta is with artillery is once you've been spotted, you're supposed to move, otherwise, you're gonna, you're just asking, you have yeah, to yeah, but you know, I think the, the Elong team, the team Elong, they use a really nice strategy on the capture, they choose the right hand, they use sniper on the south, so they know, okay, you can arrest. Uh, reset a capture, you're gonna go through somewhere and they're gonna stand there for you. But I think the other team, maybe they didn't study more tips, you know. Maybe. I, I, I'm just curious to see what we're gonna see in the next game, but uh, before we hop into that, I think it'd be nice to take things into a nice 90 second commercial break. Okay.
All right, guys. Now we are just about to hop into mm -hmm. the second game of offense for PvP Super Friends, and there it looks like we don't have the M44 in the game this time around. Yeah, they got a lot, a lot of light hangs on. The, but you no, know, I still remember a stretch in Moto use. They used the, a lot of heavy tank or as well, and every heavy tank, uh, really, really solid torrent. So. They go to a south and they show a torrent and push a little bit, you know, step by step. It's work out because uh, you know uh, your your enemy do not have so many he heavy tank. Uh, you can use the heavy tank rush strategy, you know. but most of the teams still choose a light tank and rush in. You know. Well, I, I just want to throw out there as well. I mean, like, I feel as though uh, mm -hmm. like they're going to keep the the six tier eights that they already got. And whoa, whoa AMX twelve T. Uh, that thing is really fragile, and we're talking about only 600 HP on that thing yeah, as well, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. If, if you are on the Assault team, I think the 12T is quite good, because the 12T is a little bit smaller than M13. So if you're on the Capture Circle, it's really hard to discover, but... All right, I can see the logic <laughs> behind that, but I mean, also, mm. uh, let's just think of, you know, this scenario, for example. Like, what happens if they have to use the... the the Amex 12T versus the T29s. It's going to be, you know, not some. It's not going to be an easy feat to take down a T29 and obviously an Amex 12T. Yeah, they can flank in and shoot a T29, you know, back a side armor. It's not that hard, but yeah, but it'll be like, how do I say this? It's going to be like using spit wads against the tank, <laughs> you know? Yeah, like, but you know, uh, with a gold run, I think the 12T with uh, uh, 170 or. 190 penetration is still working. It can work on the T29. Well, they are off now, and it looks like <coughs> we're going to have Batman just flying around in his AMX 1390. He's made it! He's made it very painfully apparent that he loves the AMX 1390. He feels like he's free, and he can fly whenever he's in that, and he's even taking shots and dodging them to show us just how much he loves them. I like the way he's exposing his rear to the enemy as well. He doesn't want his engine to get shot. That's uh -huh. something new that I, I never really thought of applying to my own play, but definitely. Uh, this basically screams it. For those of you who've never played the AMX 1390 before, the, the engine is actually located in the front. If you take a shot to it, you uh, if you take a shot to the front, you're facing a pretty good chance that you're going to take engine damage yep. or you could be disabled. Mm -hmm. They got, like, uh, if, an if the engine or uh, stem uh, was hit, it got like 20% to 23%. If you uh, learn the death eye, you got 23% to damage the tank, uh, the, the engine. <coughs> All right. Uh, okay, PP got pretty nice position for T49 because of the T49 there, he can spot the T29. And T29 cannot see him. He can use a high explosion run to damage the T29. Well, at this very moment, Batman well, is now... He took a little hit. bit of damage. Yeah, and yeah. The time being, I mean, there's no real rush happening at this moment, but uh, PvP Super Friends are just thinking about how they're going to cut, <coughs> cook, and... Or cut... How they're going to catch, mm -hmm. dry, and cook this one. Yep. The T-49 on the north part is really nice to, you know, making damage to T-29 there. And uh, this time, they got a couple sniper on the south side. They got an IU-251 M12, uh, M19 here, so they can use the 12T. Okay, 12T is going to capture circle. So this time, this time, if the formation gonna go here and spot the enemy to <coughs> reset a capture, they gonna got a fire from south side. All right, so these guys have, I mean, this is, I wouldn't say mind games are a whole new level, but definitely uh, PvP Super Friends have their, their, their crisis plan in order. The question mm -hmm. is, will it work out, or will there be some sort of a yeah, different counter yeah, strategy? Yeah, but they're never going to face the M13 right now. Oh Can he make it? God. Can they make it? That is the real question. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Excuse me. Mm. Jeez, what is wrong with me? It's getting a little bit late here in Taiwan, guys. Please have mercy on us. But the capture has been initiated, and it's now at 50% there for that Amex 12T. Oh, oh, this time the formation C. They see, oh, oh my god. They see the two sniper. 
on the south side, so they know. Okay, you only got a fight, so I'm gonna rush in, kill everyone here. <laughs> oh my god, that was really brilliant. nice reaction, I think. But they have to do that as soon as possible because of the light hang is gonna go in, come in here uh -huh. very, really soon. That's right. Okay, <laughs> so the question is, is it going to work out? And Nuto pulls out before he even takes a sliver of damage. Mm -hmm. And now critical hits down to 321 HP. Batman coming to the defense of eight of a Nuto. But this is that scenario that I was exactly talking about. What happens if the AMX 12T has to actually fire at yep. T29s and mm -hmm. other tanks in between? It might be able to perform somewhat well against the tier seven. First. Oh, you gotta man. die very, very soon. Ripper was actually taken down. Mm -hmm first but ice water he is of course spearheading this charge he is now the daredevil that Whoa, is alive shot, Alex. Uh, an amazing coordinated fire from teammates wow uh, keeping him alive for the time being putting a rock between himself and <laughs> calliope yeah calliope got a, got a big problem there this is not looking good he's going for the rear now his rear is exposed yeah but you know pressure cannot rest the ice water i mean the iu251 because the ppm Maybe. is quite low oh my goodness can you rend him oh too late okay so this has been one for one but now i mean front mission they haven't been able to keep up in the exchanges mm -hmm. the question is can their heavies pick up the slack <laughs> yeah, now that they're coming to the yeah, front they line too much hit point on the beginning you know Oh, what? man. Going down later on the that T-29. Looked, that looked like, for a minute, an artillery shot. They don't have an artillery, do they? No, they have the no. He should have gone. Oh, man. Maybe his gun is damaged, so... You know. Perhaps. Wow. Oh, boy. Nice nice play there by Blood Plus, but I mean, mm -hmm. help me please, is... <coughs> I mean, he's he's low health. He's trying to do what wow. he can to hold this Whoa. position here. Where on earth is he? He's not here to the aid of Blood Plus. That is to say, uh, uh, help Good me mission, please. Guy. But he's now taken out of the game, and so too is Help Me Please himself. Mm -hmm. So, it's 3-3. Three, three. Every game we've seen so far, we've seen rotating wins. It's like... One, PV one, one, yeah, 1-1, yeah, 1-1, one, 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 one. The question is, are we going to finally see 1-1, one, one, or are we going to see 2-0 mm -hmm. with PvP going on the defense? Mm, yeah. Or 2-0? No, uh, yeah, yeah, maybe it's 1-1, one, one, but... Uh, on the defense side, uh, you got really nice chance to win, but for mission, do not doing that good, you know. Your enemy all light hand if you rush out. I think that's okay, the strategy is that it's okay, but you know, if you want to rush your enemy, and you know the sniper on the south side, why you still go to the south? You know, just go yeah. straight. Go well, I mean, like, that's okay. The play style that we see from both sides is quite responsive. They say, okay, so this is what you guys did in game number one. This is what we're going to do different in game number two on mm -hmm. offense or defense. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, like, this became most apparent in game number, th game number four on Himmelsdorf. You remember? Game number three, uh, PvP, were u they were using the M6 to try and shield Batman again. It's dead body. It was going to die. They all knew it was going to die. Mm -hmm. And then uh, game number four, our, our tie... Our Titans came in and said, well, that's not going to work this time around. We're ready to counterplay it. Yep. Question is, <clears throat> are we going to see that same trend here with PvP going on the defense? Let's find out in two minutes.
All right, guys, thank you for your patience. Now it looks like we don't even have, well, for the time being, we don't really have the, the final tank selection in game just yet. Yep. But um, I feel like we're going to see PvP maybe pull a trick or two out of their sleeve. If we see uh, if we see Front Mission win their first game on offense, then it's going to be maybe something a little bit demoralizing for yep. PvP. Yep. Could affect the fourth game on this map as well. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, on the defense part, you know, most maps it's quite easy to win. It's quite easy. But yeah, I, I think mean, because of this time on last match, uh, PP they got all light tank. I know uh, the rush strategy is not working. Not working. I so mean versus heavies yeah, for the most yeah, part. Yeah, you cannot rush in versus mid tank versus a heavy tank. You know something like suicide. So they decide use a twelve P capture sniping strategy. Formation know that okay we split it to two parts, but they decide to kill the enemy on the capture circle first. Right. It should be work out, but I think the route is not that good. They walk through you no, know, that that walk through the uh, open field, and got a lot of sniper. They got a lot of sniping from the west part. Let's say that, that's why they in uh, before they reach the west part, the you know, one or two tank already gone. Yeah, know. I mean, like, it was kind of innovative on the fly. I mean, what happened was those two RU251s at the south end for uh, mm -hmm. for PvP, they had been spotted. They had six cents. So they're like, oh, snap, we know we've been spotted, but we're not being shot at. So what do you do? Mm -hmm. If they're not shooting at us, they just realized our plan. So then they regrouped with everyone, and uh, they just counter-rushed mm -hmm. the team that was rushing them. That kind of thing. Yep. Okay. One of those, I think this is one of those moments in game where you just realize, okay, well, going with, going with the impulse is the best choice you can make. Yeah, and this time the PvP uh, only take one T32. That means on the beginning they're gonna rush out. If you choose less heavy tank, at least they have to win because if, if, you, if they rush out and find okay, there's no enemy, they have to pull back and for defending. If you don't have any heavy tank to show up torrent, you're gonna have big problem there <laughs> because you cannot scout your enemy and you're forced to go out again. Enemy there for waiting for you, so you got the light tank and rush out, you're gonna die there really soon. Yeah, well, okay. we can see that uh, front mission is going with M41 Bulldogs and <laughs> AMX 1390 mm -hmm. and an OBJ416. Yeah, sniper. Uh -huh. Okay, they got two T32. Okay, so if they want to push, they are on the offense side, that means they're gonna go to the east part. Because the east part, they got, you know, uh, okay, it already stuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess, like, what happens is we can show you guys on the minimap what they're thinking in just yeah, a moment. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> okay. So spawning to the south on offense, it's front mission, and mm -hmm. to the north on defense, it is. Yeah. PvP super friends. Mm -hmm. If you have a heavy tank and go to go through the south, uh, the north part, there's no cover. When you march in, you're gonna get a lot of punishment. You got gonna get a lot of damage from the east side. So normally, if you choose a heavy tank, you won't go through west to north. That's the reason. But if you have a heavy tank, you normally you can go here because there is a ridge, there is a ridge, there is a ridge. It's a really nice cover for T32 because of T32 can show up torrent and attack. Oh, this time they split to two parts. The T32 is gonna go to the south. And lighting go north, you know, maybe they're gonna you know, do something different on the strategy side, but they have to be really, really careful because the PAVP only have one heavy tank. That means the light tank gonna stick together and rush one side, either north or south. If the T32 was discovered, they're gonna, they gonna die really soon. Okay. All right, well, let's see what the plan is here from both sides. Of course, we do have a uh, front mission, of course, scratching just a little bit towards uh, capture point one, and I think to that end, they should succeed for the mm -hmm. most part. Mm -hmm. But, you know, on this way, you can see the T32 on the middle. That means they can go here, you know, or yeah. here. There's two ways, but on the, on the field, it's not safe at all, so normally they can go this side. I imagine Batman is the one <coughs> Amex 1390 to the north. In fact, he's the only Amex 1390 on his team. Yeah, there's going to be a skill there because there is a push. And when 
from which cross the railroad, they cannot be spotted, but you know, they won't know where is the Batman. Well, we're still waiting mm -hmm. for that move to be made. I mean, Batman, no one, he, Spec Ops has been spotted, but that's, that's only Spec Ops. Yep, yep, and M13 go here. He cannot go to up here, but on this distance, uh, I think they got a chance to see the Batman here. All right, so. This one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, Batman's moving. That means he was spotted. He actually hasn't been spotted according to the light bulbs that we have right next to his name, but oh, no, uh, I think no. he's ready for that. Okay. His teammates made a call of some form, and mm -hmm. uh, exchange of fire is taking place right now. No real hits connecting yet. Yep, yep. Because the T32 got really nice position, so even, even uh, the PvP is T32 here, you know. This two side cannot make it any damage. No. All right, so two RU two five ones coming straight to the south here for PVP. I'm wondering just how this is going to pan out. Spec Ops lit now. He's done a thousand seventy three of his original HP. He got hit for a lot there. Um, I I don't know if that was just one shot or if it was one stacked upon another. Mm -hmm. But the T thirty two itself. What's the what's the cannon at sports? A ninety millimeter. The T32 normally they use a 105, but uh -huh. on this field it's possible to use the 19 mm Right, that makes sense to me. I mean, when you stop and think about how far down the barrel you need to aim, the capture has been initiated, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, then it's it's one of those decisions that I think would be most logical, if you will. Okay, and so there's, I mean, PVP they know what the situation they're in, but yeah. they they just can't make the move yet, and. Yeah. It's most interesting to me that the guy who was doing the capture, he, he pulled out, but he was never shot at, to the best of my knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Now, Blood Plus... Okay, now there is T-32, so this time PvP cannot go here and watch the enemy to reset capture, because they cannot, they cannot get a lot of damage from the T-32. But here is two snipers and aiming at the T-32. They so, have to move right now. Yeah, yeah, but you know, the, T the two T-32 almost didn't get any damage because of you know, the tank design is, is for sure a torrent only. And uh, on this match, on the whole game, the T-32 only show up torrent, so that RU-251 cannot make in anything here. So, therefore, they cannot reef forward. I think they can go here. There's only a single tank in that circle for the capture. Yep, Calliope yep. is wondering if he should join or not. If he mm -hmm. joins right now, this is going to increase it a lot more. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mm -hmm getting cut now I mean this is becoming painfully apparent to PvP super friends yep, yep. shots fired at off spin not quite hitting I think those are blind 15 seconds remaining on the capture and now the flank is coming from the south are we going to see a reset coming in from PvP super friends it looks more and more like the answer mm -hmm. maybe yes that was a nice ambush Batman coming in now yeah they and are not trying to reset oh not man. make you reset they're gonna rush you out and kill you first that's a perfect you, choice to yeah. make yeah, you want to reset, I'm gonna kill you, that's it. The offense was being made right now. I think mm -hmm. their goal overall now is to keep one of their tanks alive. There's only two minutes left on the clock, and this could actually be one of those critical moments of the game where we see that PvP Super Friends simply have one more tank left yeah, yeah. on their team. Uh, from which you have to kill all light tank as soon as possible because the T29 is there. The key cannot run away, but light tank is not that story. So yeah, have to kill the ice water as soon as possible or they're gonna lose this one. Here we go, Ice Water running for his life. Run, He's run, in run. the... Can he make it? Ah! Can he go oh, missing? Wow. Missing and almost safely away from enemy fire, but off spin coming in for the chase now. He's sliding, trying to make that hit. He, sh he shoots, he doesn't score. He's still alive! Ripper. What's going on there? That is the real question, isn't it, Edison? Oh my god, he that he is that No! That T29 oh way back there god. is ultra oh isolated. Oh, track, shot. track shot, the next one has to hit. Will it or will oh, it not? Okay. It does indeed. That T29 is now isolated yeah, okay. at Alpha Sixer, it looks they like. They still have two Tang. Capture being reinitiated. Spec Ops now trying to snipe. Yep. I think they're just going to try and go for a multi tank capture. That's mm -hmm. a move that makes sense, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. They know where well, that last T29 is. Off spin now hopping in there. Some, to some extent, the capture is being mm -hmm. reset, but they know where the enemy tank's positioning are, so they're just going to shield fire as best they can. 18 seconds left on that capture. 16, oh, uh, 15. coming. 50 percent now as we have tanks exiting and entering. But what? What is? What? What? What is WD40 doing there? 
He wants to focus fire. Let's say. Yeah, but he's not even. He's not even. Oh my God, no! WD40 is right next to their tank. What's he doing? Is he? Is he trolling? Is he trolling? I think he's trolling. Oh my God, the capture is being reset. Why not? They just what? Rush Do you out. see this? Do you see this? WD40. Yeah. yeah. Why not? They just rush you out and kill the entire and go back. Oh my God, he's blocking shots while simultaneously trying to deal out fire. Damaging fire oh, on Atari. Okay. They find it, they find the it, choice they. to capture looks like the wrong one, and this is going to lead to a victory for PvP Super Friends now on defense. What the hell? That's you know? what I was thinking, you know? You know, uh, if you cannot capture, kill enemy. That's it. I what? cannot say anything. <laughs> what tank was Antari in there? Uh, Antari is. Uh... RU251. Okay, Anuto was dead early on. He, he had the T37. Two, five, one, you know, but All right. You got a fight tank. Just rush out, kill him. Not that hard because of you got 30 seconds. And the T32 is there. Now cannot cannot run away. Just kill him. Well, I mean like Antari still had a measurable amount of HP there and I mean he could have just That's ran okay. for his life. That's okay, but you know, if you just rush out you got a fight tank, four tank. One thousand cannot live for ten seconds. You still got 20 seconds, you know, to kill Taysatu. That was the weirdest game I've ever seen. Like, let's, uh, for, let's, let's forget T1 Cunningham's running away and waiting for the count, countdown to hit zero uh -huh. while they're on defense. Let's, let's stop and think about it for a minute. Like, when you've got a T32 <sighs> right next to a T29, uh -huh. and he's not shooting at the T29. Instead, he's shooting at the RU251 that's trying to snipe his teammates and doing so successfully. That's crazy. You know, you know, it's a problem of a commander. T32 just keeps shooting the T29. The rest captured him, just killed the RU251, and the forward to the T32, that's it, the over. And everyone's still there. You only have 30 seconds to capture, okay? But, you know, uh, someone kept resetting you and didn't got any damage. Uh, Again, I just have to, I have to say it, it's one of the weirdest games. It looks like... <laughs> I think maybe both teams are ready to go for the next game. Maybe they might be discussing strategy, last minute strategy, mm -hmm. or something of that nature. But it looks like the tank selection is not <coughs> altered whatsoever. Um, so it, uh, maybe it's seven, four to three right now. Four or? to three right now, with PVP in the lead. They're showing excellent defense here on steps. It might be one of their more practice <coughs> maps here in uh, WGL season mm -hmm. three. But okay. I mean. I, at the same time, I want to go ahead and not rule out the possibility of a tiebreaker game. Um, mm -hmm. Who knows? Front Mission might have a second strategy up their sleeve that they're going to employ, but we're still waiting for PvP. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like Spectre? I think that's it's his name. T32, I think. Yeah, we're still waiting for him to get uh, his final yeah. tank in the game yeah, there. Maybe. Again, discussing last second strategies. I think now we're going to take things into a 90 second, well, maybe not a 90 second break. I don't know. It's hard to say. These guys, they're, they're ready to go. One minute, the other, the other it doesn't, doesn't quite I don't know. look like Maybe it. Maybe they can start right now. Okay, they're gonna start right. right now. Yeah, we just got this from the production crew. Both sides are ready to go. No commercial break whatsoever. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. here we are. Mm. Mm -hmm. Object 416 still in the game from Front Mission. And I feel like. Do you think they got a chance to use that? I think the first shot they dealt out in. Game number, uh, game number one on offense for them. That's the one that hit uh, uh, Spec Ops there for like 400 damage. I think yeah. that was the one they used. Mm -hmm. It makes sense after all. Yep. But you know, I still wonder about the previous game because of the Panda Eye making really nice de the decision. They know, okay, PVP are flanking from the south, so they rush out and kill you. So nice. But <laughs> the capture, what's going on there? That is indeed something worth pondering. Okay, and so of they, course you know, they again they make the same mistake. Normally, if people capturing, you have to make a front line. Two to oh, three nice. capture is enough. Someone have to you know defend. Anyone want to reset the capturing, but you know he didn't do that. You know what? There's a T37 going to the back door. It's pretty much dead weight. If we actually see. Uh, the 587 composition, the full blown 587 <laughs> composition coming from mm -hmm. uh, our TIE ti Titans. Pick him off. And uh, adding to that, there's two RU 251s to the northwest end of the map for PvP Super Friends. If they don't regroup very quickly, they could be in a lot of trouble. Yep. 
And Anuto has been spotted in his T37 is what I want to throw out there right now. He's got six cents, so he should be able to know that. Mm -hmm. um, he's trying to bait out a couple of shots, I imagine. Yeah, but maybe he on he already see the bulldog, so but he didn't see the T thirty two. Maybe he they gonna uh, they gonna see they gonna guess. Uh, okay, it's only a skull down the south, so the most of your force still on the northwest. Oh, they gonna see the T thirty two soon. All right. Yeah, if they see the T thirty two, they gonna know the strategy. T thirty two forward, show up Torren and the other team. Taking a chance to for flanking or capturing. That's PvP it. now struggling to regroup. We can see those two RU two five ones rushing across the map. Mm. Batman still in spawn with an AMX thirteen ninety. Yeah. And playing this out as comfortably as he possibly can. Yeah. Um, you know. But I mean, with every moment that this game goes on, front mission is getting closer and closer to capture point number two. Yep. But problem is they didn't do the action on the first moment. You know, the PP is regrouping right now. So they cannot get a advantage there. If they rush you out directly, not it's there. Oh. Still waiting for that move to just be made right now. Um, looks like we got some kind of a technical issue with our. There That's we go. Okay. That's okay. Okay, so everything is looking pretty okay here. <laughs> Alright. Okay, I change the color. Right, just changing color on the minimap right now. That way we can make the. I guess you could say the tracing mm -hmm. more aesthetically pleasing to the human eye. But so yeah. far, no one, no one taking any damage in this game. Yeah, you know, the t two t t two here, he, they shoot forward as soon as possible. But you know, if you cannot just show up the torrent and close to your enemy, you cannot work out. You cannot show up the advantage of t thirty two. Just as I say that, uh, Spec Op does take a couple of chunks of damage. Actually, mm -hmm. he's, he's just been hit now down at 1307, and he, mm -hmm. of course, is in a very heavily armored tank. Is that the T30? That's got to be a T32. <coughs> yeah, both the sides turret. have a T32, but, you know. The turret. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. The turret is really nice, but, you know, if you do I that. I hate the turret. <laughs> <laughs> I shoot at it so much. All right. Not easy to bounce. Yeah. yeah. Too easy to bounce, but uh, I mean the tank spread here from PVP. They know what's going on, mm -hmm. and they're not going to fall for any shenanigans <laughs> coming from front mission. And right now the front mission is waiting for the PVP's flanking. You know, you, do you see it? a lot of sniper on the south? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's back the PVP kind of flanking uh, the T32, so they're waiting for them. But you know, they are oh, waiting man. for the wrong side. You know, PVP it, flanking from the east. I feel like this move coming from Batman is a little bit dangerous, but there we go. It looks like there's been a redirected movement coming from FM. They're actually yeah. looking like they're just gonna straight up pile in yeah, right now. Finally, they know they have to go here, you know. If we, they didn't go to a capture circle, they cannot force the enemy to do anything. Three they minutes on, force them. Yeah, three minutes left in the game and 85 seconds to go on the capture. Yeah, that's the best position for the T32, but no one is hide here. I, I don't think that's that good, you know, because of, if they got two T32 on the phone line and a capture, they cannot force the enemy forward, you know, and they, they got so many, so many snipers there, they can get the, uh, uh, oh, what's going on there? Oh, that is a question, isn't it? Like, okay, what's... PB gonna spank him right now, but maybe... they cannot find a really nice position. 60 seconds on the capture, they just and need a penetrating shot. Wow. And One hit from Spec Op, but it wow, didn't wow. penetrate. It didn't yep, penetrate yep. at all. Mm -hmm. And right now, PvP Super Friends is super lit at this very moment while we've got mostly <coughs> full HP tanks on front mission. Finally, a penetrating shot on the WD-40. Panda Eye isolated, isolated in a lot of trouble. Ice Water coming in and trying mm -hmm. to seal him out. Looks like he might just get it, but who's going to be wow. first? Indeed, it will be Panda Eye. Wow. WD-40 forsaking the entire capture and now yeah, going forward. Yeah, the one is Off spin, lunging forward, and now oh, this oh. is a full-blown tank fight with two minutes remaining mm -hmm. on the clock. Remember, if PvP even has one tank remaining at the end of this game, they get the win, oh, and it's and five down. to five critical now. Critical down Four two. Four to five. Oh my god, PvP so critical right now. Yes. Blood Plus is now not looking so good. And, and Nuto, it's down too. Little Mac. And Nuto in exchange for uh, Blood wow, Plus there. Little the Mac Reaper is not is looking good here. Little Mac. Wow, yeah. So they're going to take this one. Flanked. And now Batman, Batman. is still alive in his Batman AMX 1390. What? Oh, man. Okay. Okay, they're going to capture. Well, uh, Batman could run for his life, but if all three of those tanks are in the capture circle, that yeah, will supersede cap, cap, cap. 60 Don't seconds. Cap, cap, cap. 
This is the first time we've seen a one 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 okay. one 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 to yeah. all the all the freaking way to eight mm -hmm. points. Batman's gonna try and survive this. Assuming he survives, we will see PvP Super Friends victorious. He's not exposed his engine, which is good for the most part, but Ripper is in an AMX thirteen ninety as well. He's gonna do whatever he can to keep Batman from mm -hmm. getting away from him. And I believe Calliope there is in an RU two five one, if I'm not mistaken. Forty seconds to go on that clock. How many more shots can he dodge? <laughs> Help me, please, trying to do what he can to cut off Batman. Oh, okay, they cut him. They cut him. Yeah. Oh, he's trying to get track shot, shot. Oh, and wow, there we nice. go. Batman's out of the game. That brings the score to four-four, and we're going to the tiebreaker game, guys. So close. So, so how do we close. determine who is on defense here? <laughs> Damage count uh, from eight games. I feel it's good. That is something we didn't quit. All right, so uh, we're going we're gonna to go to an eight-minute yeah, break, we, we, guys. Yeah, we got an eight-minute, but, you know, they have to counter the damage right now. And, uh, you know, because of mod, they like install mod, so we cannot see the real damage right now. We cannot check the damage list right now. So we need, we need the tournament team send us a replay, and we're going to check the damage after that. So wow. it takes a lot of time, maybe 12, you know. 15 minutes I'm saying. We Can need we to get a new system in place for this. Yeah, we really yeah. do. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so we'll be back in 8, 10, 15, 20 minutes yeah, whenever maybe. we're <laughs> ready to go and whenever we're ready to play that tiebreaker game, guys, don't go away.
All right, guys, we want to thank everyone mm. for their patience right now. And uh, the one thing that I believe we want to go ahead and kind of clarify right now is, yep. if I'm not mistaken, uh, we don't do damage anymore. We go by the time that the first shot, the first blow was dealt uh, in a game, right? Yeah, less means uh, if you are on the assault team and win, and uh, how many times remain. If you got more time remain, you're going to you're gonna be the... Uh, the, the the you're gonna have, you, yeah, you're gonna have the right to choose defense or offensive side on the tiebreak game. All right, all right, all right. So I mean, in this case, that means PVP Super Friends has the right to choose whether or not they go on yep, defense yep. this game. Yep, and uh, they choose the defense on the Edinburgh. Well, I mean, Erlenburg is actually a predetermined map. That's something we didn't mention before. Mm -hmm. um, all throughout the Wargaming.net League season three, mm -hmm. the uh, the dr the tiebreaker map will be predetermined, and in this case, it's mm -hmm. going to be Edinburgh. Yes. Yep. All right. And the, the map got three bridge, so you know oh. it's really too def easy to defend. So you know, really benefit from the defense side. It's really I difficult to play in random battles. <laughs> uh, normally. Yeah, because the you know, random battle got some problem about you know teamwork because yeah. of, you know everyone do not know each other. You, you don't have a commander to you know take, to tell them how to move. But you know Edinburgh on the claim wall, I, I don't think it's not that hard to play because of there is a two ridge on the east and the west. So whatever you are gonna go west or east, it depends on the capture circle. You are north or, or south. It's not that easy. To, uh, it's not that hard to play on the, on the clean wall, but you know, it's a tiebreaker game. It's a sort of mode, so it becomes totally different right now because of the the defend circle on the northeast is really easy to defend compared to you know random battle. It's somewhat different. Mm. I agree. All right, so. Mm -hmm. Right now we've got two Emax 1390s, two Pershings, a T37 and a T32 coming out from, oh, excuse me, two T32s coming out from PPP Super Friends. So they're going yep. 686 mm -hmm. while we have one tier 7 for uh, front late, mission. Late. Oh, okay, okay. Yep. Still, still on, I guess you could say, tank selection right mm -hmm. now. We don't know if it's going to be 686 or 587 for them. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking like, you know, I imagine PvP Super Friends, since they do have the right to choose whether they're on offense or defense, maybe they chose defense. They I mean, choose the defense right now. Yeah. They choose defense, but... Uh, but let's stop and think about this for a minute. Mm -hmm. Every game that they played tonight mm -hmm. on defense and offense, they won one of each. So they won one off. They won f the two offense games and they won two defense games, yep. and that's an alternating rotation. Mm -hmm. Yep, totally right. But you know, this map is not that easy to attack. It's right. really nice for defense map. Really nice. So, uh, and I mean, it's really hard for formation, I think. Yeah, yeah, and once you look at it from a layman's perspective, you could actually stop and think for a minute. Well, okay, mm -hmm. I think I could see. You know, PvP Super Friends winning this if they take the defensive angle, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't see why they wouldn't. They've got a uh, well. I mean, they've got the only thing they've got working against them. Well, Amex 1390s, Pershing's OBJ 416. There's one Amex. There's one Amex 1390 from uh, Blood Plus, but that's about it. I mean, you guys are going to see the tank selection bottom line at the beginning of the game, and uh, I feel like on this map, it it could be anything. Yeah, but you know, uh, it depends on the play style. If a Vietnam team, you know, on random battle, I see, I saw a lot of Vietnams. They know how to play on this one, but most of most of players on this map they are camping, so actually they don't know how to attack. Game got started, so we're waiting for that loading screen graphic. But uh, unless the okay. TSR production crew yeah, forgot yeah. it, uh, we need a <coughs> we need a you know the mini net. Okay, there we go. Okay, the formation on the south and PV on the north, right? So, I you can see the, uh, the on the mini map here is really nice for T32, and this one, another side is really nice for Persian, and they can use a light tank here, you know, and go somewhere on this side, or here is really nice for sniping. So if a one light tank, one light tank here and two here for sniping, T32 on this side, Persian here. You know, if they set up on such position, it becomes a really nice angle to cover every side. So uh, either 
enemy cannot capture and really hard to attack. But on the other way, if the formation want to win this one, they have to attack first, go here, you know, like T-32, show up torrent, right. and the rest of the team go to the right flanking, kill the T-32 here first, and then the Persian. They right. got more chance to win this one. Secure at least the center hill. There is, of course, a couple of Amex 1390s right there. You can see Ice Water in one. He's sporting the snow camo. He's already taken a shot to the turret, and now he's running back home, trying yeah, to alert his yeah, team of because what of they are going to The heavy tank still moving, so cannot reach that on time, but they got Persian, so no, Persian still can show up Torrent. But best chance for the, uh, for the formation is right now. They have to rush and kill the two Persian as soon as possible and they got really high chance to win this one. Because of the T-32 is still on the way. If they up the hill and see, okay, there is a T-32, you know, they can t kill the T-32 right now because there is no cover, it's an open field. It's really nice and easy to kill the T-32. Yeah, and here we are, the exchanges are going through already and it's looking a little bit favored and, fa and it's looking a little bit favored for front mission Yep. at the moment, mm -hmm. but they're very reluctant to poke forward. We got Little Mac tanking just a little bit of damage and returning fire, <sighs> doing a good job of that.